what is going on everyone in the card community it's eric with classic cards we have yet another pacific box a pacific release our final day of pacific week because tomorrow we're going to do another jeter break so far i've only sold one stack uh, one spot for the jeter break so it might be a quick one tomorrow the spot for that breaker down below nine packs it's a corner a stack of one sealed wax box $35 free shipped chance at the Derek Jeter rookie card Derek Jeter rookie card gold some sweet gold some cool black gold so check that out today we're gonna finish off our Pacific week it says right there loaded with rookies all right well we'll see about that 10 cards per pack 36 packs it's a hobby box uh, looks like we got a little dinged corner there that I didn't Notice earlier that's gonna be interesting with some of the ding packs. Hopefully our Kramer's choice isn't right there. We do have another chance at a Kramer's choice today. This time around the Kramer's choice are numbered and back then when they gave you a numbered insert they usually didn't tell you the odds because then you could figure out the case amounts but I mean you could do that today nowadays which is weird. We got platinum blue parallels one in 73 packs that's pretty tough. We got, of course, again, Pacific one in 37 packs for a 36 pack box. We saw that bite us yesterday. <laughs> Dynagon Diamond. This is kind of like one of the only times I've seen Pacific put Dynagon stuff in baseball. Usually Dynagon, Dynagon Ice, I think, of hockey. Four per box on average. There's Titan Diamond variations, which are hobby only. We could see that. 99, number to 99. Team Checklist, two per box. It's kind of even weird it even puts that. Gold Crown Die Cuts, we've been seeing it all week. Hopefully we'll see our third one today, one per box, or one per 37 packs, not per box. Uh, timelines, hobby only, numbered in 199. And the Kramer's Choice Awards, numbered to 299. Will we see our first Kramer's Choice Award today? It's our third chance here out of diff some different releases to try to get a Kramer's Choice. This one I believe is the first time that it, they are specifically numbered that we've gotten and it's not, not being a parallel like a styrene or canvas or whatever. So 1999 Pacific. You got Tony Gwynn on the box. Tony Gwynn on the packs. Feels like they are maybe bricked up a little bit. Classic gold foil pack. They must have bought like a million rolls of gold foil or something because they did it on everything. Kind of like that old chrome ghosting of the packs. Not sure if they came this way. I can't imagine that they did kind of see through like that. But here we go 10 cards pack. We've been having a week long of long videos because these big boxes come with a lot of packs, a lot of cards per pack. Look at that interesting Pacific rookie logo. Kind of a little different spin on the one that we've seen before from them. That Orkin logo. So, so far nobody crazy. Greg Norton, Jose Offerman. We got our first sweet one. Big Poppy, David Ortiz. Look at that, number 27. Back when Big Poppy was a little smaller Poppy. <laughs> Very cool, so we're gonna put that one down. He's gonna be a Hall of Famer. Desi Relaford, couple, some Devil Rays again, as we'll see. Pat Mears, and there's Andres Galarraga, big cat on the Braves. Here's the back again. They give you a lot of stats. No Spanish on this one. Interesting for Pacific. Pacific initially, uh, Pacific and Mike Kramer. Oh, look who's on the back here, Tim Salmon. I believe they initially tried to get a license and make baseball cards for the English market and they didn't get the license, so they started in the Spanish market and then kind of uh, moved over and got the license and were able to do both. There's a young Manny. Let's see who we got. They always flip around each way, which you guys know I'm not a fan of. A lot of extra work here. We got Ed Edgar Clement, rookie, okay. John Candelosi and Tim Salmon. Look at that right there. So you get a little foil on the front design. Kind of two different fonts there, first name, last name. Interesting color back. I don't know where they get the uh, colors for the back. Blue and orange isn't really an angel's color, but 
they do them all blue and orange? I guess they did them all blue and orange. Or some shade of purple. So, okay, so it's just the back of the whole set. Look at that, Ken Griffey Jr. That's a beautiful Ken Griffey Jr. card, too. I like that uniform. Kind of the sleeves like that, old time. Cliff Floyd, we've got a Hall of Famer and Harold Baines. <laughs> Harold Baines. Dave Hollins on the Angels, all right, interesting. Brad Radke. We got Bayerga, Carlos Bayerga. Yep, see him in a prism or two. Brian Wrecker, Wrecker. He's a Wrecker. Recar doesn't look too happy up there. <laughs> Mike Timlin, and look at that. Bernie Williams. Very cool. So two packs down so far, nothing special. Got that nice Ken Griffey Jr. I'm gonna set that out because that's one of my favorite cards so far. We got a Tim Salmon. Uh, there's Wongon Juan Gonzalez, and also there is Portrait Variation. So I'm guessing this is one of them. We'll have to look out for it. I don't know about that Griffey one, but Portraits, uh, 50 of them. I guess they call them Headshot Variations. So it's a 500, a 500 card set, but it's technically 450 cards plus 50 of the portraits. So I'll try to set aside as many as I can, as we see. Carrie Wood. Rick Helling with the Rangers, Butch Husky, there's AJ Perzinski rookie card. I was never a big fan of AJ Perzinski, um, but that's not a, not a bad rookie. We'll set that up there. Rick Aguilera, I always gotta go sideways, up and down, kind of confusing. And Iron Man himself, Cal Ripken Jr., that's a good one. So the box is dinged in this right corner. You're gonna have to watch out for this bottom of the right. Right, stack there. There is a duplicate Cal. So, not a duplicate, but the headshot variation. So you can see two Cal Ripken Juniors right there. So that's a uh, second one I've kind of pulled out. Jason Veritek, shout out to Dave Durango. He's a big fan of him. We got Jaime Navarro, Tim Belcher, who's sticking too. Todd Walker on the twins there. All right, Todd Walker, not Larry Walker. Kurt Schilling, who's not a bad one right there. And Quentin McCracken, all right, kind of looked like Edgar Renteria for a second. Ken Cloud and Rob Nen, good old Rob Nen. So Tony Gwynn, TG19, of course, started out with the 2001 Pacific box this week, got that Tony Gwynn relic, and now we're finishing up with 1999 Pacific, Tony Gwynn on the box. So Edgar Clement, maybe that's another one of those portrait ones. We got Derek Lee, who's a cubby coming up. Mickey Morandini, Rusty Greer, Rusty, interesting name. Look at that, the man himself, AJ Hinch. Boo, boo. <laughs> On the A's there, Joe Girardi, another manager now, manager of the Phillies. Mike Lowell, rookie card. So when they did say loaded with rookies, they weren't kidding. So far, AJ Przinsky, Mike Lowell, not bad. Mike Lowell is. Great, that's for sure. And look at that, Roger Clemens. Rocket on the Blue Jays there. We got Clemens and Schilling. Another Hall of Famer on the back, Larry Walker. I think we have our first insert in this pack because I see something shiny pointing out. So there's the base wong gone, not the headshots that we saw first. And there's the Larry Walker. Nice one, look at that, I got like a redwood bat right there. Okay, it is. It's going to look like an A's thing. A's something. Something shiny. Let's check it out. It's a team checklist. I guess that's why they gave us the uh, checklist odds, because they're shiny and beautiful. we got a Ben Grieve. So, Mr. Ben Grieve was Rookie of the Year. One, one year. Oakland A's, Ben Grieve, and look at that. Team checklist. Pretty shiny. Kind of like refractory there. Uh, it's all about the Oakland A's team checklist, but it's got Ben Grieve on the front and back. So, two of those per box. We got an Oakland A's for the first one. Tom Glavin, of course, Hall of Famer. Darren, not David Fletcher. Gonna say it every time. Jeremy Burnitz with the Brewers there. And look at that, another rookie, and it's A's. Eric Chavez, killing it. So, not bad with the rookies. Danny Clyburn and Dan Wilson. Well, at least they weren't lying when they said loaded with rookies. Very exciting. And look at this pack. I just want look at look at this pack. Darren Erstad on the back. Tim Salmon 
portrait, the headshot on the front. I think I have this sand, but not the other one. I'll have to check. We also got a, one of those Dynagon cards. Dynagon Diamond. Hideo Nomo on the Mets. Wow, that's actually a pretty cool card. That would have been nice to get a pretty big name, but we got, you know, Hideo Nomo, of course, after 95, a big name. Now, at this point, 99. With the Mets, uh, decent. Actually, we're going to see four of these per box, so we can look forward to a couple more. All right. Very cool. I like that one. There's Jarrett Wright. Very cool. In 97, he had a killer year, that's for sure. Eight wins, three losses, 4.34 ERA. He pitched in the World Series. We've got Andy Pettit, Carl Pavano. Look at that, my boy Dernerstadt right there. I like that little foil with the logo and the baseball. I'm a fan of Pacific. That's for sure. Would love them to be remade, but not really by Panini America. Danny Clyburn, rookie headshot. There's Aaron Boone. It doesn't really look like Aaron Boone, but I guess it is. Reggie Jefferson got some facial hair there. Ray Durham making an athletic play. Jeff King, who is sticking to Alex Ochoa. Yep. Kevin Jordan, flipping every way, every which way. Donovan Osborne, and look at these two Hall of Famers right there. Edgar Martinez, and what about this one? Wento Chipper Jones. So. Two Hall of Famers there. So far, we haven't seen any big Chipper Jones insert. I know you Braves fans are looking out for him. It'd be sweet to get one. There's a Hall of Famer, Larry Walker, headshot. So a couple with the dinged corner. Gotta, gotta watch out what pile I'm taking this from. So Scott Carl, Ozzy Guillen. A couple of Hall of Famers that have gotten uh, both the base and the headshot variation. Russ Johnson, rookie. Dave Segui, and we have Will Clark, Rangers Will Clark, and Raul Mining for Mondesi right there. All right, getting down in the box. Still 36 packs is a lot. 10 cards per pack means 360 cards. There's Jeremy Giambi. Did you know Jeremy Giambi has rookie card with the Royals right there? I didn't, that's pretty cool. Mike Remlinger, Pedro Valdez rookie. Jeff Cirillo. Kenny Rogers, man, Kenny Rogers pitched for a long time. Raul O'Neill, Bill, Paul O'Neill, Bill, uh, Bill Mueller. We got Levon Hernandez and the man himself, Jose Canseco, which we've seen a couple inserts from Pacific this week from Canseco. Most notably the sluggers and hurlers that we saw yesterday. Check that out. And what about this one? Frank Thomas, kind of an interesting expression on his face look nice frank thomas card hall of famer pile kevin tapani we got john burkett jermaine die was always a good one there on the royals todd hundley i don't remember kevin Seplick or whatever his name was ray lankford a good one too and roberto alomar on the orioles alomar also moving on a few teams Jays, Orioles, Mets. All right, we got Ben Grieve. That's got to be one of those headshot ones. I guess we'll put that in the headshot pile. Eddie Tavinsey, Scott Erickson, Ricardo Rincon. Like that name, Ricardo Rincon. Jeff Shaw, Fernando Seguino, rookie card. Not bad. We'll put that in the rookie pile. Fernando Seguino. Trevor Hoffman, Hall of Famer. And look at that, Scott Rowland. Looks like he's falling through a hit. Scott Rowland wasn't bad either. Are there any big Scott Rowland fans, Scott Rowland collectors out there? How about the Mike Lowell headshot rookie card? That's not a bad one. Definitely full of rookies. They weren't kidding, Eduardo Perez, John Schmoltz. Been getting almost one John Schmoltz per box, it feels like. Fernando Vina. Miguel Tejada, he was a gamer. Ugo Urbina, him as well. Makato Suzuki. Yeah, it kind of looks like Shohei there. Just with the uh, positioning and everything. Brian Meadows and Kenny Lofton, who is great. Just talking to some of the guys. Maybe Kenny Lofton, just some more homers. 
could have gotten him in the Hall of Fame, maybe. Let's see if he played just a little bit longer. Got Jim Tomey's headshot. That looks like a nice looking ball player there. Dimitri Young, he was into baseball cards. Mark Race sliding into home there. Todd Zeal. Ramon Martinez. And we got another Hall of Famer, Barry Larkin. Shortstop. I just noticed right now they put their position in that diamond. <laughs> Pay attention, Eric. We got Chuck Knobloch on the Yankees. All right. And Jim Edmonds. Maybe fouled one off right there. What do we got? Something like half the box left, something like that. Craig Biggio on the back. Dante Bichette headshot. That's got to be a headshot there. We got Michael Tucker. A couple Rockies. Oh, no, that's a Diamondback and a Rocky. Matt Stairs. What about... Oh, I thought it was Vladdy. It's Wilton Guerrero. Close second. <laughs> Carlos Guillen, rookie card. All right. Bob Wickman, and there's a Craig Biggio. Shout out to Dallas F. That's a nice Craig Biggio card. So luckily these cards aren't stuck and uh, you know, sticking together with paper loss and everything. Bernie Williams, that's a headshot. I've seen his base one. Pretty cool. Reggie Sanders. Let's see, we'll have to do an insert check after this because we haven't seen the insert in a while. Brad Osmus, catcher Mark Grizzolonic, Steve Finley on the Padres. Look at that stretch right there. Holy cow. Michael McGuire, what do you think he's doing in that picture? Launching a home run. <laughs> we'll take it. So as far as the uh, inserts, we've seen one Dynagon Diamond. Should be seeing four. We've seen two team checklists. Should be seeing two. Haven't seen a gold crown die cut yet. There's also the Platinum Blue Parallels we haven't seen. Um, there's also a Retail Red Parallel. Of course, Retail, uh, we're not going to see it. We do have another Diamond on Diamond. That's a Retail Red Parallel. Diamond on Diamond in this pack. Let's check it out. And let's see what else. Kramer's Choice, still haven't seen that. No odds on that, but they're numbered. This is a Mariners, so who's it gonna be after the Greg Maddox? Shout out to Bill Hall of Fame collector Greg Maddox, up close and personal headshot, and look at that. Shout out to Matt from the Essential Credentials. We got Alex Rodriguez, Dynagon Diamond right there. Might as well throw that in the sleeve, why not? It's a pretty crisp, clean card there. Throw that on top of the Hideo Nomo. So, Gold Crown Die Cuts checklist. There's the, of course, Dynagon Diamond Titanium. I guess the parallel of a Dynagon Diamond. And we got our Gold Crown die cut in this pack. Let's see what it, who it is. I haven't seen it, so I haven't ruined it. We got Sidney Ponson, uh, Pirates, White Pirates hat. Mike Lansing, Bruce Chen, rookie. Oh, he wasn't, I remember Bruce Chen's name. I don't remember him doing another Hideo Nomo base. Jeff Reed. There's the Ben Grieve. I think that's a duplicate of Ben Grieve. Mike Piazza, Hall of Famer, and look at that. Gold crown die cut. Who is it going to be? Ooh, it looks like a Rockies. Are we going to get another Todd Helton gold crown die cut? A few days ago, we got a blue number to 100 gold crown die cut. It might be Larry Walker. It's looking like it's going to be... <laughs> Guys, it's another... Larry Walker. Okay, Larry Walker. I was gonna say, I thought that was looking like Todd Helton for a second. Larry Walker, Colorado Rockies, 1999 Pacific, Gold Crown die cut. I like in the crown, they kind of have little Rockies logos there. Pretty sweet. I like that one a lot. This is one of the better made, just appearing, Gold Crown die cuts with a little refractor shine going on there. Very cool. Get a cleaner sleeve, nice new sleeve to put the old Larry in. That's gonna be probably our one per box. Gold Crown die cut. So we could still hope for the Kramer's Choice where Gold Crown die cut is out of the way. Another Hall of Famer on the back. Yvonne Rodriguez. Interesting, uh, interesting face on the back there. Yvonne Rodriguez, Hall of Famer. The rest of the pack, there's a Fernando Seguino Headshots rookie. Dave Berba for the Indians. Henry Rodriguez, and it does feel like as we get 
lower, deeper into the box. A little more stickage going on. Mike Matheny, Tom Candiotti. Let's see, nobody crazy. So continuing on. I hope you guys have all enjoyed this Pacific week so far. As far as the comments that I've talked to you guys and stuff, it has been a blast for you guys as well. Russ Johnson, rookie, and look at that. Another Dynagon Diamond and the Mariners have just been blowing us up in this Pacific week. A lot of great Mariners cards. Got the A-Rod, and now there's the Jeter. Got a, or not Jeter, the Griffey. You gotta put them right next to each other. Tony Fernandez. Yep, Scott Spezio. I oh, just enjoyed Spez. Todd Stoudemire. Who we got here, it's a rookie. Jomar uh, Guevara, Al Leiter, and there's the Jim Tomey base card. Saw his headshot variation. Back in the day, 36 packs, 10 packs, 10 cards per pack. Back in the day, each uh, suggested retail price was $2.19 per pack. Travis Lee, I like that old Diamondbacks colors with the purple and green. They should go back to that. Brett Saberhagen, Jeff Abbott, uh, Glendon Rush. Looks like he's missing his color background there on the nameplate. Interesting. Let's see, there's Mark Leiter. We just saw Outlighter. Very similar faces, that's for sure. Brothers, who must be. Mike Kelly. There's Noma Garcia Parra. That would have been a great one back in the day. I don't know, does that kind of look like Jeter sliding in? I can't tell. <laughs> There's no way I can tell. Uh, Kurt Ruder. All right, so far I'm loving this. Loving this release. Even a couple more inserts would be pretty crazy. We got a Boggs on the back. And look at that, it's a Wade Boggs Devil Rays. Devil Rays, I'm sure we've now been through some Yankees, Red Sox, and Devil Rays Boggs. Dwight Gooden on the Indians. That's another one that you don't really associate with the team. Jay Bell on the Diamondbacks. Alex Cora, a rookie. Shout out to the old <laughs> Red Sox manager, Pedro Astacio. We're getting down to this right side where that ding was. So we gotta, gotta watch out, see if any of those, those packs are dinged. Hopefully, hopefully not. Moises Alou, there's Vinny Castilla. Rockies fans, old Vinny, Richie Sexton, Indians, George Lombard, rookie, all right. Juan Samuel, Blue Jays. There's a Bip Roberts on the A's. That's another one I don't really think of the, the A's. I associate Bip Roberts with the Pop Jays. Kevin Brown, I associate with the Dodgers. Uh, Jeff Vassero and Moises Alou, who of course I associate with the Expos, but there he is on the Astros. Pretty interesting what kind of, just when you first think of a player, the one team that pops into mind. Is it usually the team they played with the longest or the team that they, I, know, I guess probably the team you watched them play the longest. <laughs> we got Mike Jackson, Darren Lewis. Who's sticking to Mike Jackson? Mike Jackson is. We got Mike Caruso, Jeff Conine, like a really dark card there. Matt Lawton, Tim Wakefield, and Ryan Klesko. Oh, Ryan Klesko back in the day. Brewers, Ellis Burks on the back of this one. There's a chipper headshot, Chipper Jones. It's a pretty sweet card. I enjoy Chipper's commentaries when he's doing the baseball. Omar Vizquel, Dennis Eckersley. I think he's closing one eye there. Hall of Famer, GA, Garrett Anderson. Picked up some sweet Garrett Anderson cards. I'm excited to show you guys. Pretty soon, Ray Ordonez. We've got David Justice. Look at that. Shout out you, Truth, David Justice, and Ellis Burks. Let's finish off that last corner, this right corner. Oh, last three packs, four packs. So this, this is the very bottom one. If these cards aren't dinged, got a good chance none of the other ones are dinged. And just a little bit. <laughs> Not too bad, Roberto Almar headshots. I like the headshots one. Nice candid photograph. 
Kevin Young, Jeff Montgomery, Ron Gant, Gary Bennett, rookie. Okay, Miguel Cairo with the Devil Rays. Barry Bonds, I don't understand why some of them, I guess just the picture they chose, they go landscape. Barry Bonds right there in the black and orange and Ray Sanchez as well. Okay, is this gonna be another Piazza or a Headshots one? We already got the Headshots, there's the other Piazza. Sweet, Jeff Bagwell right there. Love Jeff Bagwell, kinda looks like my uncle. Tony Womack, Lou Collier, Jason Bates. Uh, Chanho Park right there, not bad. He's not a bad name as well with uh, what's his face? Hideo Nomo. <laughs> and another pack, second pack, second to last pack in the dinged corner. We'll see. It doesn't look like uh, any of these ones are too badly dinged. Look at Derek G. Look at his face in that picture. <laughs> Some of these guys have weird expressions. Like that Jeter card though. Enjoy the headshots. Mike Broderick, Ken Hill, Angels card. Doug Henry, Bobby Bonilla on the Dodgers. Wally Joyner on the Padres. Fred McGriff on the Devil Rays. Man, when they had Fred McGriff, Wade Boggs, and Jose Canseco. Dang! Devil Rays, okay. And a JD Drew rookie. How about that one? Not bad at all. All right, final pack of that bad stack, we'll call it. We'll call it the bad stack. Or is it the nice stack? Because we got an insert here. I'm going to throw that in the back. I need to see who it was. A Rod headshots. All right, all right. We got uh, Steve Avery. Matt the Bat. Yep, Matt the Bat on the Diamondbacks. Derek Bell, Roy Halladay rookie. That's going to be our best one so far. Or uh, at least it says rookie, but uh, that's the Roy Halladay Hall of Famer rookie. John Olrud, Jim Leyritz, Hall of Famer, and Landy Ronson, Jandy Donson, Randy Johnson, <laughs> Tony Gwynn, the cover boy himself, and we have our insert. Oh, it's a team checklist. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, look at that. We got a PC card with my boy Darner stat on there. Definitely didn't have that one. You also see among the likes of Garrett Anderson, Tim Salmon, Troy Percival, Darner stat, Jim Edmonds. Love it. Beautiful shine right there. Look at that logo. Okay, that's my favorite. We another AL West uh, video. Or we'll, we'll we see. We got a Rocky, so it's. A West video yet again. Mariner, Mariner, Rockies, A's, Angels. Pacific must have just loved the West Coast. Or at least we love pulling them. Out of Pacific products, we got Rafael Palmero headshot. Looking at Congress, like, why? Why? Should be looking at yourself. <laughs> oh, we got Jose Guillen, all right. Bob Tewksbury. All right, Ricky Vitalico, Bartolo Young, Thin Bartolo Colon doing some work out there on the mound. He would be in the league forever. Armando Rios, two more packs to finish off this middle stack. It looks like we have another Dynagon Diamond on the front. Marty Malloy headshots, and look at that. Big Mac, Mark McGuire, Dynagon Diamond. So we ended up getting three pretty good ones. Ken Griffey Jr., A-Rod, Mark McGuire. I'm not knocking Hideo Nomo. Most excited about the A-Rod and the Griffey. So like Big Mac, Marty Cordova, Charles Nagy, even seeing him around, and Andrew Jones, Mr. Tale of Two Careers. Sometimes age just doesn't treat you well once it catches up to you. We got Yvonne Rodriguez headshot there and kind of a similar picture on the back from his other card uh, Rod Beck Aaron Seeley that's a pretty cool Aaron Seeley card red uni blue background Larry Sutton who else as we finish off this box Bobby Abreu that's not a bad one there's Delano DeShields senior Craig Council Brewers manager and there's a 
Paul Mero, Raphael Paul Mero. So, our final three packs. We have seen the two checklists around per box, four Dinagon Diamonds around per box, the one Gold Crown Die Cut per box. Haven't seen a Platinum Blue Parallel. Haven't seen a Timelines insert of which they're exclusive to Hobby Packs number to 199. Haven't seen a Kramer's Choice number to 299. So if we don't see anything in these three packs, we just pretty much got the uh, the bare minimum, but still gonna go home happy, not empty handed with some cool cards. Tom Evans, rookie. Okay, there's Mike Cameron on the White Sox. Hal Morris, Tom Evans, rookie. Doug Glanville, we got the Angels coming up. It's Chuck Finley, but how about that? Fernando Tatis Sr. Look at how much his son looks like him. Like father, like son. Fernando Tatis Sr., the only guy who's ever hit two grand slams in the same inning. And there's a big Mo Vaughn there. Base pack. Two packs remaining of Pacific Week. Uh, Pacific Week this time around. I guess we beat the odds because we were supposed to get four Dinagon Diamonds. We're going to end up with another one here. There is Jose Canseco with multiple bats. Who's this guy? It's a Jeter. Derek Jeter. So definitely didn't... Uh, didn't miss all the Dinagon Diamonds. Griffey, A-Rod, and Jeter. Back in the day, that would have been a big hit. I was like the triple threat. All you needed was like maybe a Nomar Garcia Parra. But how about that? Derek Jeter, the captain, number two. We'll take that. Manny Alexander, Royce Clayton. We got a couple of rookies here. Derek Gibson and Jeremy Giambi. Once again, Troy Percival, check him out right there. And the Big Hurt, Frank Thomas, final pack. Cause this is gonna be a fire hot, super hot pack with our Kramer's Choice or a crazy timeline insert. Or are we gonna get a base pack and call it a week? Let's see, usually it's like the second or third card. Looks like a base pack. JD, Drew, Hot Shot, Head Shot, whatever they call it, uh, variation. <laughs> Roberto, Kelly, Mark Loretta. Definitely doesn't look like we got an insert here. Mike Blowers, Jorge Posada, and the final two cards, Travis Lee and Jason Dixon. So, we didn't get a platinum blue parallel, one in 73 packs. We didn't get a timelines insert, one in 181 packs. We didn't see a Kramer's Choice for our third time. I think that's three strikes and we're out, but we did get an extra Dynagon Diamond, which is sweet. Two team checklist, five Dynagon Diamonds. I really like the Larry Walker gold crown die cut. Look at him, he's just looking like, did I just get in the Hall of Fame? Oh, <laughs> all right. Pretty sweet card, it's got some headshot variations, which is interesting, kind of changes it up a little bit. Again, it was 1999 Pacific. I hope you guys have enjoyed this whole week of Pacific products. Again, this is not the last time you'll see a Pacific box or Pacific cards here on this channel. So don't you worry, we'll be back again after tomorrow. Tomorrow we have our Jeter live break. So not a normal video, but we'll be going uh, for you know going on for a short live stream so i hope to see you guys there check out the links for those break spots in the description down below again as always keep collecting care for the cards most importantly care for each other we'll catch you next